action. Hi, I'm Mr. Grace from Carrot, and today we're going to do a video. What kind of video? Uh, uh, cabbage video. And what what project are we going to do? A rainbow yarn. A rainbow yarn. And who am I? Mrs. Watermelon. Mrs. Watermelon, a.k.a. Rebecca from Chemnitz. And Lucas, a.k.a. Mr. Grape, and I are here today to redo our past yarn dyeing experiment and see if we can make him his rainbowlish yarn. Right? Have you do that all of it? Before nap? Well, we'll do the dying before nap. Deal? Okay, it's time to start! The yarn we're going to dye today is 100 grams of 100% worsted weight wool. I pre soaked the yarn for over an hour in just plain tap water, but 20 to 30 minutes would be sufficient. These are the nine dye tablets that we are going to use in today's project. They came from a deluxe Easter egg dyeing kit. And in them they each have some food coloring and citric acid. The big difference is last time we started off with two tablespoons of vinegar. And today I am going to add three tablespoons of white vinegar to start. And I'm going to be prepared with another tablespoon of white vinegar to add in case we decide that we want a little more acid in the project. And I'm just going to, I'm poking to kind of just like mix this up a bit. <laughs> Lucas is re Lucas, are you really excited to get going? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, <laughs> I have started heating up the pot and you can see that we've got some bubbles and the heat is now on pretty low. So we are ready to add the dye tablets. Who's excited? Me! All right, now one at a time, take a dye tablet and put it on the yarn. Oh, all right, get it, do the next one. And you kind of want to spread them out, okay? Well, you want to you want to spread them out a bit, okay? So put keep keep adding, Lucas. Why don't you talk about the colors? Yes. Oh well, add it in and tell me what color it is. Purple. Okay, do the next one, Pink. Lucas. No, add add the next one. Oh, you want to do them two at a time? One, two. Wow. All right, and there's three. Colors left. Okay. And try to add one way far back. Yep. And one more. There. Wow! That is beautiful. What do you think of the colors? Good. Now, you can see that the colors are spreading, but maybe not as far as they were the last time. But they're also still kind of on the surface. And so I'm going to just help poke them into the water a bit. And so we increased our volume um, of vinegar, but the we have a pretty low level of water. That's because since it's a space dyeing, we don't really we want the colors to strike to the yarn before they expand further. So that is our goal. But hopefully the they colors are not sticking down. Well no, see they, they stuck down a little more. But this is good because it means that the colors are gonna go in the yarn. And maybe there'll be a lot of white left. But you've got all these beautiful colors. What colors do you see, honey? Blue, orange, pink, 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 blue, purple, blue, teal, blue, yellow, red. No more colors. Those are all the colors? Uh huh. Dye tablets. Dye tablets, alright. Which we have. I know, and now do you know what the next step is, Lucas? What? Do we have to wait a little bit? Uh 
Uh huh. Let's stay on and wait. <laughs> Let's stay on and wait. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that pretty pink. That one's going all the way down. Yeah. This is really, really pretty, honey. But they are not sideways. They are not sideways. Um, yeah, so I am going to once again give them a little bit of a poke to help the dye tablets dissolve. Because when they're on the surface, I should have opened up the yarn a little bit for you. When they're on the surface, it can be a little hard for them to get the water that they need to dissolve. So that's why you see I'm pushing and letting the water come up on them. So one thing, viewers, one thing you might notice as I'm pushing down, we see a lot of the individual colors surrounding it. And part of that is because more dye is dissolving, but part of that is also because maybe it's not binding to the yarn fast enough. What's our next step? Well, Mommy, I think, is going to add a little more vinegar. Mommy, I'm, I'm going to pour. Oh, you, all right. I will let you pour it in, but you have to be very careful because the, the pot is what? The cup. Hot. Okay. So this is a cup that has one tablespoon of vinegar in it, of white vinegar. Can you pour it in? Thank you. Now it's me. Well, now we can wait a little bit. But mommy actually, well, mommy would have put it in a little differently. <laughs> I'll put so, this last cooking. Well, why can you step down for a second so mommy can step up? Why? Well, because mommy wants to be able to access this. Okay, so we currently have four tablespoons of vinegar in here. And I am just going to dribble a fifth kind of across the yarn um, because it might not be traveling to the sections. Let me wash my hands. And you're going to go wash your hands? Good idea, honey. Um, this yarn right now is absolutely stunning. I hope that the tie will. Um, Bind. And we're still, you know, we've got more dyes coming out that are still dissolving. So, with any luck, now that we have five tablespoons of white vinegar, stuff will. Can I get oh. up, please? Yes, you can get up, honey, but watch out because you've just moved the camera. Uh, <laughs> with any luck, we will. Look, be... there, it's getting rainbowless. It's getting rainbowless. It's getting rainbowless. And we, and we can maybe we can eat it. No, we don't eat it. Wow. All right. So we've got the colors spreading, and I wonder. Wow. Look at that purple, and the pink. We've got the green and the blue sections. Mm -hmm. So it looks like. Mommy, can I turn? Can you have a turn? You can come back up in a second. It does look like that we have some of the colors actually binding in the sections because when I push it, they're not moving a ton and it makes sense for some of the greens and stuff to move. Um, and there's very little dye over in this section right here right now. So I'm crossing my fingers that this is working out. So we changed the view a bit so that way we could see. And we're at a total of five tablespoons of vinegar in here right now. And there are still some dye tablets that have not completely dissolved, which is why we're still seeing more and more, um, more and more, that's right. which is why we're still seeing more and more dye in sections. Um, yeah, I, I can only hope that, you know, we will keep these patches of color and the whole thing won't go completely green like last time that we still have some of our rainbowish but the color over in this section is still reasonably clear so with any luck we will have some purple and some red um, the yellow and orange might have been overtaken by the green but I think 
fingers crossed that we might have some fun variation of color. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Five minutes have passed since I last checked in and the only <clears throat> thing that I've really done is just continue to push down on the tablets a little bit to help them dissolve. And I think that with the exception of a little piece over here and maybe this blue one right here, they have all dissolved. The water in this area right here is still, you know, pretty free from dye and that's, um, but we do have a significant amount of green over on this other end, um, which makes sense because of all the blues and yellows Lucas put together over there. So, but I don't see the green creeping in to this red section or this purple and blue section over here. I mean, we've got teal, but I think that we might end up with more variation than we did in the last video. So fingers crossed, but I think that a potential mistake that I had made was not adding the vinegar to the dye bath first um, because where the vinegar is located might be fairly localized. I've got I just put in the cup another tablespoon of vinegar. I'm add some over there, some right there, the red. I'm adding the vinegar over the spots where different dye tablets were located. Um, hoping that that will help um, speed things up a little bit. All right, I've kind of had it. Let's just go for broke. That's a whole lot of vinegar that I just added. <laughs> whole lot of vinegar. Popping up the heat. Look at the... Well, I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of dye. A lot of dye in there. Um, Alright, I am going to remove this, actually. Because I don't really want all that green. But look at all that dye that's still in there, guys. Yikes. And you saw how much vinegar I just poked in. All right, well, we still have to let this cool and wash it, obviously. But here is the yarn that we got. We got something that is way more rainbow than what we got last time. Um, we have sections of purple and a lot more variation of the green and a brown versus kind of a, a deep color. So I am happy with what we got. I'm just surprised that I added so much vinegar and this is just kind of hanging out. <sighs> Maybe could I have added too much and it could have crashed out? I do not know. Lucas's rainbowish yarn has cooled, so now we can work on rinsing it. I'm using just some Dawn dish soap and cool water um, to help rinse out any extra dye. And all right, initially, it looks like most of it has bound to the yarn, which is good. I think that maybe the answer was not necessarily more vinegar because the green seems, seems to absorb so slowly, just like blue. Maybe the solution is for me to remove the yarn from the dye back sooner to stop the spread of the green. Or maybe I should figure out which dye tablet is which color and limit the number of blues and greens that go into the yarn. Um, Lucas's favorite color is orange, so I'm sad that that got overtaken by a lot of the green. But it's still a gorgeous yarn and the colors are bright and vibrant and I know I can make him a fantastic winter hat about it. So Lucas, you want to see your wet yarn? Uh-huh. Oh. Is it in a wet bowl? 
eggs in a bowl. <gasps> what do you think? Rainbow's rainbow. Yeah? What colors do you see? Pink, white. Pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. And what else do you see? Green, blue, green, blue. Red, orange, and yellow. Wait, Lucas, what's your favorite part? Red, red. That it's red? Wet. Oh, your favorite part's that it's wet? Okay, well guess what? What? We're gonna let it dry, and then you can touch it and look at all the colors. Oh, oh, oh. How does that make you feel? Good. Before Lucas comes back with his conclusions, I wanted to compare the yarn that we dyed this time to the yarn that we dyed last time. Both of these yarns were dyed using all nine food coloring tablets from a deluxe Easter egg dyeing kit. And the first time we used less vinegar and we ended up with this gorgeous, these gorgeous muted colors all over, all over the skein, which is beautiful, but it felt a little mature for a three-year-old. This next time we did more vinegar, started with more vinegar, and then added a lot more vinegar to get the colors to strike. And you can see that we can view a lot more of the individual colors. We have multiple shades of green because the blues spread more and mixed, but we also preserved a few different reds and purples within the yarn. The new yarn is absolutely more rainbowish than the first, and I think that the colors are bright and fun, and I know that I can make an awesome hat for Lucas out of it. Um, I think that going forward, if I really wanted to space dye and get a rainbow, I wouldn't use all nine colors from the dyeing kit at the same time. I would try to spread them out a bit more, or I would remove the dye from the pot sooner, because I think that if I had left this in, given that there was a lot of green left over, and green that I used to make this bonus skein, I think that if this green continued to bind all over, we might have ended up, again, with something that looked a lot more like this from the first time. So I am extremely excited with this gorgeous yarn that we got, and I can't wait to knit with it. So Lucas, oh, yeah. what? What, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whose yarn is it? My yarn. Who made it? Me with you. Yeah, what do you think? Rainbowish rain. <laughs> Rainbowish rain? <laughs> uh -huh. Rainbowish rainbow. Yeah, it's I. A scarf. Is a scarf? Uh huh. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anything else you want to say, kiddo? Thank you for watching my video. What's your name? Lucas. From? Candace. And who am I? Rebecca from Chemnitz. That's right. I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz. And thank you for watching our video. And that's what we did. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? No, thanks. I'm ready to be a frog now. It's the time yet. You're ready to be a what now? A frog. Um, okay, you can be a frog. Ribbit.